At the first meeting, permission was sought to extend outline planning permission for the high-rise project at Devil's Tongue. The project had obtained outline planning approval in December 2018, after tweaking the original submission based on the Commission's feedback. But the developers now needed to extend the permission, with this having expired during the lockdown. It was said that nothing had changed in their plans, which the Commission had approved previously, but permission was not granted, with the project sided for now. Participating virtually, the Deputy Chief Minister highlighted that while nothing had changed in the specs of the project, many other things had. Notably, the general election had happened. ...circumstances over the last several few months, and that change is the general election that took place in October. The government is now committed to a policy of green Gibraltar, which obviously, although we were, we've always been very environmentally uh, considered, uh, very, very proud of considering environmental issues, now this is a set of green Gibraltar policy we have laid out in the new manifesto. And I think there are now issues of uh, design, of massing and of heights that we would need to consider in the context of what the new policy is. But the deputy's contribution brought with it some discussion and the question of how future projects would be dealt with in regard to the manifesto commitment, with the town planner Paul Origo pointing out that the development plan, which serves as a marker for all projects, had still not been updated to reflect the government's green initiative. No disrespect to the manifesto commitment, but the development plan is still active 2019 and still allows these high-rise developments extra moves, i.e. outside the city walls, as a result of pressure on the old town. Um, we have similar developments happening in the near future, like Chatham uh, Mule. These are high-rise developments which we need to keep in very mind, okay? The Devil's Sung project will go for full planning permission in the coming months, but these plans needed to be presented at a future meeting of the Development and Planning Commission.